Hey everybody, Jeff Whiting, your catcher guy. Ask you to just hang out with me for a little bit today because I don't want to make you laugh. Uh, I want to show you something. Not me personally, but a good friend of mine. His name is Franklin. He wants to come and tell his story. And honestly, I think we're all going to be able to learn from this. And hopefully, it'll hit you in the heart just like it hit me. So without further ado, my friend Franklin. Hey guys, my name is Franklin. How you all doing today? Um, like to give you a quick story about my life. Uh, last couple years, kidney disease. It's kind of what we want to talk about today. So, uh, we'll start at December 2017. Um, kind of been sick for a couple months. Not really sure why. A uh, couple every couple days, vomiting, throwing up. Just thought I had a cold. Check my blood pressure. Have a really bad headache. Uh, go to the hospital and. Uh, Blood pressure is about 260 over 170. A little high. Um, urgent care pretty much laughed at me when I called them. Uh, they told me I need to go directly to the hospital. Um, get there, uh, do some quick blood work, and uh, kidney failure pretty much immediately. They uh, quite a surprise to everybody. Um, huge surprise to me. Didn't really know the plan of attack at that point. Doctors pretty much said, uh, you need dialysis immediately like there's nothing that we can do about this a couple days in the hospital i'd say probably about five days um in the hospital i leave actually with a tube in my stomach which i kind of like to show that like uh the aftermath of it still still here two years later that's called per peritoneal dialysis which i'm not on anymore which is why you don't see a tube there anymore but for about two years i had a tube installed in my stomach Peritoneal dialysis uh, wasn't really working out for me. Some people have fluid transfer issues. That was kind of my big issue. So I actually switched over to hemodialysis, which means that I have another tube installed in my upper chest right here, which again, I'd like to show that. This is something that I live with on a daily basis. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Huge actually infection risk. If this gets wet by any means, huge, huge problems. Um, sepsis, I uh, gotta go to the hospital pretty much immediately. Things you might not know about dialysis or kidney disease. Special diet, it's called a renal diet. Can eat a couple of things that you might love. Bananas, avocados, orange juice, a lot of big ones. Potatoes, red sauce, which is like in everything if you love Italian food. Huge deal, kind of like me. Um, uh, showers, again, it's not just get in the shower and shower. Like you can't get this wet. You're showering your lower half of your body you get in, you shower your upper half, and your hair can't drip on this, or else you have a huge infection risk. Other side effects, like edema, which is actually like swelling in the legs. So like sometimes, like if you drink too many fluids, like you get swelling in that leg, like where you're like, your ankles are huge, and you're like, I just need dialysis, because your body doesn't, like you don't produce urine, so it's different. Like you don't, uh, like going to the bathroom is not going to pee, like it's, the other one <laughs> and two so blood pressure uh your kidney produces a um don't know the correct chemical somebody out there may know the correct chemical but it produces a thing that lowers your blood pressure my blood pressure without meds is typically around 220 to 240 over the 140 to 160 range i am on 22 blood pressure medicines a day pills wise and that's every single day 22 pills to make sure that my blood pressure stays where an average person like you would have a blood pressure. Um, other things that like that have came up during my experience with dialysis, I uh, experienced cardiac arrest. I went through seven minutes with zero heartbeat, zero this. Um, I was luckily in the emergency department when that happened. I got an oxygen immediately, so I don't have any side effects. Very thankful of that. But it could have been way worse. That could have happened at home, and it's just part of dialysis, which is really crappy. Um, another thing that happened was uh, I was on a, you could call it a trip, down in Virginia. I like to do car racing and stuff like that with my buddies. and. Um, I was on dialysis down in Virginia and I was getting ready to go racing that weekend. I actually had a seizure while I was on the machine. I don't remember any of this, so it's a little hard to talk about specifically. Seizure at dialysis. I get transported to a hospital. They transport me to another hospital where I wake up. I was in Richmond. 
I was pretty much going to be stuck in Virginia with no ride home unless if they released me that day. Um, it ended up actually happening again. They call it a seizure. I was, I think it was more of a fainting issue because I was more, I guess, awake during this one. But uh, I woke up and um, uh, I crashed my car into the back of a truck. Um, one of the hardest things I've ever been through. Um, I broke every single bone in my face. I broke both cheeks, my nose, upper and lower jaw. For 12 days, my jaw was wired shut. It was literally like this for 12 days. Couldn't eat any solid food. Anything that would fit through your clenched jaw is essentially what my diet was for 12 days. Um, since then, I haven't been able to drive. I need medical clearance in order to drive, which I'm going through right now. Um, all right, so to quickly sum it up, I'm 28 years old. I live here in Rochester. I go to Strong Hospital right down the road here. Um, fantastic kidney department. They're like top nation, actually. Um, I'm looking for a kidney transplant. Anybody out there? It's a huge thing to ask. I would greatly appreciate it. I can't ask for it directly. I want to ask kind of everybody to just consider it. Um, you can call them uh, right here at Strong, 585-275-7753. Name, Franklin Trevithick, and you need my birthday, 0509-1991. Blood type doesn't really matter. Tissue type doesn't matter. Let Strong deal with that. If you're willing to be a transplant kidney donor, they will work with you multiple different ways. There's pair donor exchange. If you're direct match with me, maybe not even for me, think about everybody that needs a kidney. Just to give you a quick fact, the average wait list for a B plus positive blood type is eight years. Eight years on dialysis. That's going three times a week for four hours. That's a part-time job essentially. And it's, if you don't go, your health is directly correlated. Another thing I'd like to ask for is a, uh, I have my GoFundMe set up. Financially, this has killed me. I used to be the kind of guy, worked 60, 70 hours a week, no problem, didn't even think twice about it. I haven't been able to work 60 or 70 hours in about three years now. Again, not directly asking for money. That's not my kind of thing there. If you'd love to assist me, absolutely would appreciate it. Anything. One thing I would like, share this video. You know, a share is free. Again, I would appreciate that more than you would know. I'd like to say thank you for watching this video, taking a couple minutes out of your time to try to understand a day in the life of a man Franklin here and all these other people out there needing kidneys. It's insane how amazing this gift could be. I know it's a sacrifice, but at the same time, me, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna go talk to Strong myself. See if I'm a match with somebody else out there that might have a match near them that could match with Franklin. And I'm donating $100 to his GoFundMe as soon as this video wraps. And you know I'm going to share the heck out of this video. Why? Because if nothing else, we can bring awareness to something that people battle every day. In an eight-year struggle just to stay alive, being patient, that's crazy. And as I've told you since day one of me doing this, if you could help, help. You have a chance to help here, even if it's sharing this video. Help. So, on behalf of my man Franklin, thank you. I would also like to thank you.